For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to multiply polynomials and we are going to explain everything in details. In multiplying polynomials, the distributive property of multiplication and the laws of exponents are being applied. So let's have the first example. On number 1, we have quantity 3x plus 2 times quantity 4x minus 5. To simplify this one, let us use FOIL method. Let us have 3x multiplied by 4x. It will give us 12x square. And then, 3x multiplied by negative 5, that is negative 15x. 2 multiplied by 4x, that is 8x. And 2 multiplied by negative 5, that is negative 10. So let us combine like terms. This will be 12x square, negative 15x plus 8x, that is negative 7x and then negative 10. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have quantity negative 2x cubed minus 4x plus 1 times the quantity of x squared minus 3x minus 2. So let us use distributive property to simplify this one. Let us have negative 2x cubed multiplied by x squared, that is negative 2 copy the variable x and let us add their exponent that is 5 and then negative 2x cubed multiplied by negative 3x that is positive 6x raised to 4 and then we have negative 2x cubed multiplied by negative 2 that is positive 4x cubed and then let us have negative 4x multiplied by x square that is negative 4x Cube. Negative 4x multiplied by negative 3x that is positive 12x square. And then negative 4x multiplied by negative 2 that is positive 8x. And then let us have 1 multiplied by x square that is x square. 1 multiplied by negative 3x that is negative 3x and 1 multiplied by negative 2 that is negative 2 so let us combine like terms let us have negative 2x raised to 5 and then we have 6x raised to 4 and then we have 4x cubed minus 4x cubed that is 0 so we are going to cancel this one and then we have 12x squared plus x square that is 13x square and then we have 8x minus 3x that is 5x and then we have negative 2 and this will be our answer on example number 3 we have quantity x plus 2 times the quantity of 3x cubed minus 4x square minus 2x plus 1 so let us have x multiplied by 3x cubed, that is 3x raised to 4. x multiplied by negative 4x squared, that is negative 4x cubed. And then x multiplied by negative 2x, that is negative 2x squared. And then let us have x multiplied by 1, that is simply x. And then we have 2 multiplied by 3x cubed, that is 6x cubed. And then we have 2 multiplied by negative 4x squared, that is negative 8x squared. 2 multiplied by negative 2x, that is negative 4x. And 2 multiplied by 1, that is simply 2. So let us combine like terms. Let us have 3 x raised to 4 and then let us add this one negative 4x cubed plus 6x cubed that is 2x cubed negative 2x square minus 8x square that is negative 10x square x minus 4x that is negative 3x and then plus 2 and this will be our answer On example number 4, we have quantity 2x squared minus 5 
times the quantity of 4x raised to 4 plus 10x squared plus 25. So let us simplify. Let us have 2x squared multiplied by 4x raised to 4, that is 8x. Let us add their exponent, that is 6. 2x squared multiplied by 10x squared, that is 20x raised to 4. 2x squared multiplied by 25, that is 50x squared. And then, negative 5 multiplied by 4x raised to 4, that is negative 20x raised to 4. Negative 5 multiplied by 10x squared, that is negative 50x squared. And lastly, let us have negative 5 multiplied by 25, that is negative 100. 25. So let us have 8x raised to 6 and then 20x raised to 4 minus 20x raised to 4. So we are going to cancel this one. And then 50x squared minus 50x squared. That is 0. So we are be going to cancel 50x squared and negative 50x squared. And let us have negative 125. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have quantity x raised to 4 minus 3x squared minus 1 times the quantity of 4x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 3. So to simplify this one, we are going to use distributive property. So let us have x raised to 4 multiplied by 4x cubed, that is 4x, and then let us add the exponent, 4 plus 3, that is 7. x raised to 4 multiplied by x squared, that is x raised to 6. x raised to 4 multiplied by negative x. That is negative x raised to 5. x raised to 4 multiplied by 3. That is 3x raised to 4. And then negative 3x squared times 4x cubed. That is negative 12x raised to 5. Negative 3x squared multiplied by x squared, that is negative 3x raised to 4. Negative 3x squared multiplied by negative x, that is positive 3x cubed. And negative 3x squared multiplied by 3, that is negative 9x squared. Negative 1 multiplied by 4x cubed, that is negative 4x cube. Negative 1 multiply by x square, that is negative x square. Negative 1 multiply by negative x, that is positive x. Negative 1 multiply by 3, that is negative 3. So to simplify, let us combine like terms. Let us have 4x raised to 7 plus x raised to 6 negative x raised to 5 minus 12x raised to 5, that is negative 13x raised to 5. And then, 3x raised to 4 minus 3x raised to 4, that is 0, so we are going to cancel this one. And then, 3x cubed minus 4x cubed, that is negative x cubed. Negative 9x squared minus x square that is negative 10 x square and let us rewrite this one let us have x minus 3 and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all